the reason why you should let go of resentment. You can never follow a perfect mentor, but you can follow a perfect mantle. So your mentor is called by God. The mandate on him, the mantle, is perfect because it's from God. But the mentor himself may not be perfect. Spiritual maturity has nothing to do with how many times and how many years you have been in the church. Spiritual maturity has to do with the size of your heart. How many times you can forgive people and still say hello to them tells us how mature you are. So speaking in tongues does not mean you are mature. Jumping in church does not mean you are mature. But how many times I can still forgive you and relate with you tells me how mature I am. Some of you, Obiti and Aswa, you are offended. What is a yes say? Yes say. And the man you want Yes say you are offended. No, you are not mature. Listen. If you want your prayer to be answered, don't keep anybody in your heart. Why Jesus said, until you forgive them, your heavenly father cannot also forgive you. Then it tells you that whenever I keep pain, anger in my heart, resentment in my heart, whenever I have unforgiving spirit, heaven cannot respond to my prayer. Your heart belongs to God, the Lord of lords. Your heart belongs to the creator. Your heart does not belong to the creation. Forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself. Forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself to have peace. A gift you give to yourself to be healed. A gift to give to yourself to live a better life. So forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself, not those you forgive. Forgiveness is an act of strength. And listen to this wisdom. The weak can never forgive. The weak can never forgive. It means that any time you forgive people, you are strong. And any time you keep the pain, you are weak or you are weaker. Forgiveness is a sign of self-love. Why? Because it doesn't matter how many times you offer your body to people. They will still come to conclusion that you didn't do anything for them. When you forgive, you find peace. If you forgive, you will be forgiving. Your heavenly father in heaven is looking at you, watching you. Many people are offending you. Many people are hating you. Okay. How many times have you offended me? How many times have you sinned against me? Remember this. Your heart belongs to God. And only God must have a place in your heart. Anger, bitterness, no way. From today, may you have the grace to forgive. No matter what they have said and no matter what you are hearing. They don't deserve your ears. They don't deserve your heart. Just forgive. And as you let go, God will reign over your life. Thank you.